Welcome back to Pretty Boy Fishing. My name is Winston, and today we're going through five open water walleye techniques you need this year. Um, and before I get into the five hooks you need to catch fish, I'm just going to show you these brand new jigs I got in the mail. Um, so here's one right here. This is a, I really like the design on this. It's a pink, white, and green. Love the green, you know, from Saskatchewan. Love the green. Go Rough Riders. And, um, and I got this yellow and orange jig. The design's really good, very artistic. I really like it. And then another nice jig right there. And then my last jig, this is definitely my favorite. I got this short shank Wonder Bread jig. This, I'm definitely gonna get a couple more of these. It's really good. I'm definitely gonna have to keep this safe. I would not want that to get wrecked. That one's gonna look, that looks fire. So if you wanna know where I got those jigs, go check out Jags Jigs put it right here and um, he's on Instagram and Facebook um, maybe I'll leave some links in the description or you just look him up on Google just put in Jags per Jag period Jigs pretty simple find them and go buy a couple jigs from them um, really good quality affordable prices I'm definitely gonna get it gonna get a couple more so without further ado let's get into the five must need water presentations for this open water season Okay, so the first um, lure I'm going to be showing you is uh, the crankbait. I, uh, this lure is a really good lure. Right now I got a flicker minnow on here. And I just have a braided line. And um, how I troll crankbait is by flatlining, which means you just let the lure dive. You don't have weighted line or down riggers or, um, or planer boards. You just have your lure. So this is a really fun way to fish. It's pretty engaging. And it's quite simple. I've caught a lot of nice walleye just flatlining crankbaits. And it's a good way to cover water fast, put your bait in front of a lot of big walleyes, and catch a lot of big walleyes. Okay, so my second setup here um, is a slip bobber. So I've got my... Uh, my bobber stop, and I've got my slip bobber, and then I've got a swivel, and then just a weight and a plain hook. And if you can't catch fish with a plain with a little with a plain hook with a leech, minnow, or worm, whatever kind of bait you're using, if you can't catch fish on a slip bobber, the plain hook and bait, I don't know how you're gonna catch fish because this is so good. And when fishing is tough, drop this down and you will catch fish. So I'll be using this a lot of the spring, especially when the fishing is tough. Just adjust your uh, bobber stop to the depth you're fishing. Cast out there with some bait and, and just wait and that bar will pop down. Okay, so my third setup um, is a jigging wrap. This I won't use as much in the spring and spring. I'll use it more in the summer, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try it a couple times and if it works, I'll keep using it. But this is more of a when the fish are deep kind of bait. So I use this in 15 feet and deeper usually. This is a jigging wrap. Don't use it with a leader or a just tying straight on. You need to tie it to a snap and then put the snap, snap around it. I'll put a picture of a snap right here because you need a snap. These are made for snaps. And when you have a snap on, they just look a lot better. Um, I've got 10 pound mono and a six and a half foot medium um, action rod. It's really a good setup. If you spend 150 bucks on a Fluger rod and reel or a Shimano rod and reel, it'll be a really good investment in your money because that's what a lot of my rods are and they work great for all kinds of walleye setups. Okay, so my fourth setup, probably one of my favorites, is just a jig. So it's just a painted weight with a hook on it. Um, and these jigs are amazing. I they're really great. Um, I've uh, I've I've been using this with six. When I jig, I use six eight pound mono. Um, this is six and a half foot medium rod, fast action. Caught a lot of walleyes on this. Has a really good moderate bend. Pins fish well. And um, I use this in my first ever YouTube video and caught a seven and a half pound walleye. So I mean, you should go check that video out. Just to, just talking about just thinking about relating back to that, but. I jig a lot in the year. 
And I would say jigs is one of my favorite ways to catch big walleyes. You don't catch as many fish, but you catch a lot of good fish. So my last setup, and probably, probably the one of my favorite setups, um, and I used to always use this until probably last year. All I fished was a bottom mouncer, a bottom mouncer and a spinner. Here's a slow death hook on it, so that'll make the bottom mouncer spin a little bit more. Um, I will do a couple videos on these because these are so deadly. Great way to get started in walleye fishing, and there's a lot of little things that can help you catch way more fish. But I'm not going to get into that in this video. But yeah, if you are struggling. Put on a bottom mouncer, let it tack on that bottom. If you're feeling that little tick tick on your rod, you're doing good. And then just feel for that weight or that hit. And this will catch you so many fish. So that's the fifth setup. With all this said, with these five presentations I just showed you, I hope that you can go out there this spring, this summer, and this fall and catch fish. This video, it hopefully can be useful to you any time of year. You can use these setups, some of these ice fishing, some of these some of these ice fishing and summer fishing, open water and ice fishing, and some of these you can just use in open water. But these five setups are all great for open water walleyes. And if you go through these five setups, put some time in, you'll catch lots of walleyes. So, that being said, I'll see you guys next episode of Prairie Boy Fishing. Thank you for watching.